chat. Prep the bing bongs. Prep the hoo ha's. Because he's coming for them. Okay? Everyone's favorite alcoholic, unsupportive, boomer ass conservative dad. That's right. It's undoomed. The worst person you don't know that you know. He could be any one of us. He could be your neighbor. He could be your uncle. He could be your dad. But you don't know. You don't know. He's, he lives among us, and we don't know which of the chuds he is. We don't know which one. But he's definitely the one in the supermarket that calls the cashier girl. And he's like, hey, girl, thanks for the change. Have a nice day, girl. You know what I mean? Creepy. He definitely does that shit. Yeah, definitely a creep. So here's Undoomed saying corporate culture should be for women. He spells it women here in the thumbnail. I have to share this with you. In the thumbnail. Whammon. Wham. Whammon. You see that? You see that, chat? Whammon. That's, that's how this guy thinks. He thinks that's a funny ha-ha joke. Amazing. And he also thinks like... Hey, if I put an emoji in in the thumbnail, people like those. People like emojis. All right, Boomer. All right, let's get after it. So epic, bro. So epic. Wow. Cool, man. Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we have a galaxy brain who thinks that corporate culture was not designed for women. Not sure why it can't just be designed for human beings, but oh well. Equality is only equality. Women have it better. This is a video from Big Think, so don't expect any signs of intelligence. Enjoy. Should I get... I feel like the problem here is that I don't have any picture frames that are on fire. I feel like if I had more picture frames on fire, we would... We would have more subs. I think that's really what it is. I think we need some on fire picture frames. I... I don't have a picture frame in my house, I don't think. But I have a lighter. If we could get a picture frame and a lighter, we could think about how much... We're going to make so much money. Okay. Thanks for the tip, Undoomed. On fire picture frames. Well, there's no doubt, I think, that women are screwed. Professor Pitchfork, thanks for following. ...scrutinized and blamed far more than men are in the executive positions that they okay. take. You don't think men are scrutinized? What do you base this on? That's not what she said. She said that she thinks women are scrutinized more. Not that men aren't scrutinized at all. What do you base this on? Probably lived experience. I don't know. Thanks, Tyoshal. You meant to send a message. Well, you better type it. So then I read it. If you want to be an executive, you damn well better be prepared to be scrutinized. You know, there's an ancient Egyptian saying, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. But on the other hand, you're a woman, so you should be in the kitchen. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. You know, 
if you don't have a woman to cook for you, you often have to resort to eating in ways that you don't want to normally. So, because I don't have a woman that can just chill in my kitchen day in, day out. Oh, yeah. I just have refried beans that I just, ah. Uh, those are salty as fuck. Holy shit. Why are those so salty? I thought this would be funny, but really, hold on. Nope, yeah, those are just salt. Those are just the saltiest. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, if you eat this whole can, it'll be 80% of your salt intake for the day. You don't say, Jesus Christ. If you put this, if you put these beans on the ground, like deer would come up and lick it like a salt lick. Jesus fucking Christ, those are, wow. Wowzers. Anyway, that's what happens when you don't have a wife to tell you not to do stuff. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Oh, fuck. And the tone of dismissiveness about women is is remarkable. Oh, sorry, you were talking? I wasn't listening. Anyway, yeah, all those programs to get women into STEM, to get women into management. Oh, yeah, remarkable dismissiveness, isn't it? Every company on the planet is falling all over themselves to state how much they support women. What more do you want? You know, it's, it's as if they... They just don't have the same kind of gravitas just because they're women. How do you know that? They could just be bad at their job. They could be entitled bitches. <laughs> Her ramble was just a gorilla. Oh, thanks for filing, filing, following Jake, uh, uh, uh Jake faces. I, I, I fucking, uh, if a woman is bad at her job, she, that's, that's why women get yelled at at jobs are bad. I mean, they're bad. They're bitches. Uh, why does he reinforce the bad thing? She says, this is a thing I face. Then he goes, nuh-uh. Yes, huh? This guy's the dumbest motherfucker, man. He is so fucking dumb. Jesus Christ. They could just be whiners. Whiners always complain about doing their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about with this guy? Winner, winners fuck the prom queen. You're 45 years old. Don't have sex with prom queens. They're children. He still thinks this is the this guy is like I, I, if coach would have put me in the big game, we would have won state. Like he still he peaked in high school and everyone around him knows it. It's a very irksome thing, I think. I should be irked currently, yes? To many a woman, artist, CEO. Oh, poor, poor CEOs. Won't somebody please think of the CEOs? They always... Finally, something we agree on. ...always feel that they have to be gold in a silver job. Hey, moron! Oh, Jesus. Fucking moron! Be why? Why? Why does, why does he have a catchphrase? Chat. Chat, can we talk? If I light more picture frames on fire and get a catchphrase, will I be massively popular? Kroger one. Cryptid, thank you. Chat, what should my catchphrase be? Fucking moron. Fucking moron. Chat, tell Sarah when she does a bit, she needs to Her dive all the way into it and work. commit to the end, not bail out at the last syllable. Yeah, light that on I'm going to light this picture of my brother holding my mom. 
and me. This is a picture of us. I'm gonna light this on fire. Where's my lighter? Are you actually gonna do it? What do you mean am I actually gonna do it? I wanna be rich and famous! Where's my lighter at? Where did oh, I found a lighter. There we go. Yes. Soon we will be Oh god, it actually <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually do that? Just a little bit. It was just a it was it was just a tiny bit. Okay, we're gonna keep the we're gonna you know what? This this is going back there. I need to be away from it. Okay, alrighties. Okay. Being the CEO is not a silver job. That's the gold club, okay? So if you want to play at the big boy's table, you better put on your big girl panties. Don't apply for a top level management job unless you're willing to give 110%. So the math on that, the math on this for Undoomed is, if you want to play at the big boy's table, you gotta put on your big girl panties, which implies the big boys wear big girl panties. And I guess that's kind of hot. That works for me. Let's move on. Fine with that. Totally fine with that. They have to be uh, an exceptional perfectionist, you know, unimpeachable figure. Yes, that's what it means to be the CEO. You have to be larger than life. Always know what to do even when you don't. Always seem dead sure even when you're not. And always, always be the absolute best version of yourself. Because otherwise shareholders will lose confidence. And then all of a sudden your company's value is in the toilet. I like that he had described the job of a CEO and then didn't think to himself, huh, that's stupid that we do that. Did you know that a lot of the value of money is based on how other people feel that value is? <laughs> Isn't that fucking wild? Not like X costs a dollar and that's what a dollar is worth. No, 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 no. They speculate on the value of what a dollar means and they just sort of feel it. Does that sound reasonable? Should we be speculating? <laughs> it's like a group of people, too. Amazing. Just amazing. Just to get to first base of the high leadership stakes. Oh, he's going to make a joke about first base. Damn it, I wish you were pretty so I could make some sex jokes. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking God, dude. All right, I'm going back. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. I need another hit. I need another hit. Oh, God. Oh, 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 it's like smelling salts. It just brings you back to reality. Takes you out of the fucking depression coma that Undoom put you in. God damn. Her ramble was just a gorilla. Real Sam, thanks for following. That's really changed. Yeah, there's definitely not been any progress for women in your lifetime. No women's lib, no anti-discrimination, no feminism. No, none of that really happened. It's all the same. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go tell my girlfriend who's chained to the stove that I need a sandwich. I f we expected nothing, and yet somehow you still yikes. <laughs> The bar is low, and he continues to lower it. It's, my girlfriend's chained to the oven and will make me a sandwich. Okay, let's break that joke down as if it were funny, okay? The girlfriend is chained to the stove, and she's going to make you a sandwich. How small is your, is it like a, is it like a, is it like a studio apartment where her being chained to the stove allows her to make the sandwich? Will she be able to bring you the sandwich? Or are you supposed to walk over there and get your own damn sandwich like some sort of single man? Think about your jokes before you write them, you fuck. Like, that doesn't make any sense. How is she supposed to be your kitty cat slave if she can't even crawl into the fucking cage? 
Wait, this is starting. I'm starting to project. I think we are, we are definitely seeing a rolling pushback that's gathered enormous momentum, which is very exciting. Well, this just goes to prove that feminism is the patriarchy. It requires big, strong men to help the poor, victimized women. There's a women. Uh, so feminism, for the record, um, in any in any sort of civil rights movement, does in fact require some facet of the of those in power to recognize the thing that you want to accomplish. So yes, I, I know Undoomed is making a joke that he doesn't understand, but the patriarchal structure of our society as it was founded and as was perpetuated and we, and we move forward, it's becoming less and less so, uh, uh, is being dismantled in part by itself as it acknowledges its failures. So feminism and patriarchy do work together at, from time to time. That was the only highbrow take I'm going to have this entire video. Back to the poop jokes. More beans, anybody? No? Okay. The sense that all the talking, all the blowhardery about women in the pipeline, women executives, we have to mentor women, we have to have diversity programs. Frankly, that's just been a free pass. You must subside totally on lead paint and retard pills to think that the way corporations have bent over backwards is a free pass. Yes. I'm just going to stand like this and make a face. You guys, please, let the yikes wash over me. This is just what I'm going to do. on let's let's try to press on okay Whew. yes well we we mentor women we have a lot of women in our pipeline or whatever well frankly that pipeline has exploded guys is this another sex metaphor you know oh my fucking god dude oh god holy shit oh god i can't like oh gee, oh he's so bad he's so cripplingly unfunny it's it's he's he's sapping my own sense of humor i am i am so sad now i'm just sad he is he is i we were having a good night we were having fun i'm dressed up in a fucking corn costume and he just makes me sad what? Can I make a sex joke? What? What? The way TERFs think defining women as whatever you feel like is, 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 is him defining comedy like this ruins comedy. Except I'm valid and TERFs are trash. Okay. All right. Everybody good? Everybody good? Fuck turfs. Everyone good? We good to go? All right. Keep going. I got to do like Kegels. I got to do like fucking birthing, breathing, birthing, breathe exercises. Just to fucking like bear the pain of this. Okay. Here we go. No, the pipeline has been stuffed. And... I'm, I, I, <laughs> Sarah, will you get me alcohol, literally anything, just grab something, hold on, wait, no, I have some, hold on, hold on, I have some whiskey right here, it was, it was, it was sitting next to my desk, oh, this is, this is a delicious, this is a delicious vial of whiskey that was sent to us, uh, by, by Jeff, um, 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 uh, a number 12 was actually my favorite, I don't know what that was, but it was, 
Mm, it's delicious. And, 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 uh, mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> so good. It's so good. Okay. A little scoop of beans. It's too salty. Okay, moving on. Women are saying, we're tired of being, quote, in your pipeline. Wait, you're in our pipeline? That doesn't work for me. Sorry, you know, I just don't swing that way. I think you should stop with the sex talk now. Chat, I fucking cannot stand him. First of all. First of all. Okay? Okay? Number one, the, the sex joke wasn't funny before. You kept writing it. You did the same joke three fucking times in a row. Didn't work, not once, twice, or thrice, okay? Then lastly, you said, hey, 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 it's going to my pipeline, that's gay. Hey, guess what? If a lady plows your ass, that's not gay, okay? Actually, that's straight as fuck. That might be some alpha shit. That's some shit I can't even get into, okay? If you let your lady plow your ass, you are you are way manlier than me, okay? You know your limits, and... A lady plowing your ass isn't it. That's not your limit. I think that's past my limit. Just saying. Real men? The toxic version of real men? Let their ladies plow their ass. And I'm not a real man. To be fair, to be fair, though, if Sarah was into it, I'd be like, all right, you can try it twice. I'll try anything twice. Even plowing my ass. Well, first of all, I think it's very important that we as women don't put ourselves... John, if if this much... Look, look. If this much of refried beans is going to kill me, I was going to die with or without these fuckers. These are supposed to go on tacos and shit. They're just so salty. No wonder they have low sodium options. I did not realize. I don't eat a lot of salt or sugar. And boy, are those salty. Holy fuck. Sarah, please don't blast my ass under so much duress that we think that we have to keep unless you're into it on adapting and adjusting yes things should just be given to you ah my butt just actually <laughs> my my butt reflexively went owie yeah don't blast my ass my i just like it was like a bot a shiver but in my in my o-ring my o-ring just shivered i'm not joking that's not a joke my o-ring literally went ah don't blast me all right, what's the stupid joke he's going to make? Let's hear what she was saying. So I think it's very important that we as women don't put ourselves under so much duress that we yeah, think sure. that we have to keep on adapting and adjusting. Yes, things should just be given to you because you're women. That's equality, right? What? That's not what she said. She said, I don't think that as women we should put ourselves under so much duress. And then you're like, yeah, they should just give women the things. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck off. You're so stupid. I've studied what you said there with 14 dead hookers. And we've all come to the conclusion that what you just said was false. What? What? What is the joke? I don't, what's the joke? You didn't set up the dead hooker thing. Now it's just like, oh, there's dead hook. It just, it's, it's not funny. It's just weird. It's, it's all edge, no point. Exactly. There's no fucking, there's no building to that. Dead hookers could be funny, I guess. There's a way to build that. I mean, anything can kind of be funny. There's a way to make the concept funny. I don't know. I'm thinking of ways to make it funny, but he's, he's sapped all the funny, so I don't know. But there, I'm sure there's. I'm sure it exists. It, it probably exists, okay? I'm doing my Donald. It probably exists. But, like, come on, bro. This isn't it. This isn't it. This ain't it. This is not the way. All the time. Clearly... We have to come together as a group, as a as a lobbying group. Surely there's a name for such a thing. Farminism. No, that's not right. Fuminism. No, that was even worse. Feminism. Damn it, it's right there on my tongue. To
Mama Rabes, did I shout you out for the gift sub? Thank you so much. I don't know if I did. If I did, you get it twice. If I didn't, you got it late. Either way, I win. Insist that we can thrive as women and also do our jobs. <laughs> so you're just going to insist that you can do your jobs and thrive. Well, what if you can't? You can't just insist. You have to make it happen. Talk is cheap what well, unless you work with phone sex it oh my god dude oh my god unless you work your phone sex then talk's not cheap because those are expensive <laughs> <laughs> fucking christ first of all she didn't say that she said you can't excel and be a woman at the same time these are not incongruent statements she didn't say she excels because she's a woman oh my god and then wow wow Wow, just more sex jokes. I This guy is in perpetual cum brain mode. He has the fullest balls. The, you, he can't store pee in the balls because they're so filled with cloom. Where does he keep his pee? It doesn't make biological sense. It also, of course, means that there are times when your your life and your career go into different phases that there are cycles of being for a woman so you're saying women are different from men how very astute that okay 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 equality or equity is not about not having differences Who told him that? I just... I've asked this guy to come talk to me before. And let's just say I got a resounding... I'm a loser from him. Okay? He's like, I'm a loser. And then he didn't come on. ...are emergible from in a way that's productive. Because you may need to take that time where you're dialing back because your children are young. Uh -huh. But you fully intend to wrap back Stop up talking. afterwards. And you've got to find a way. And companies have got to find a way to Stop keep some talking. women engaged throughout that process. Stop so they talking. don't sort of disappear. For fuck's sakes, will you shut the fuck up for a second? We it's a video in which she was asked to talk. It's a video of her talking. You chose this video knowing she was to talk. What? There's not even a joke there. Should she have waited for your chance to talk? He, I feel like this is how he thinks when women start talking. We get it. You want to be able to take off and have kids and have it have no ill effect on your career. There, I summed it up for you. And then... What? Why? I don't understand this, like, I'm aggro bit. Fucking, okay. All of a sudden, they... He's not a Poe. He is not a Poe. They want a job back, and of course they're out of date and out of touch, and they find it very difficult to get back in. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're against maternity leave? Bold move. So, what... What? Did she say she was against maternity leave? W what? Uh One thing I think that enlightened companies are doing, I know that MasterCard has worked very hard on this, actually. Well, if MasterCard's been working on it, then it must be double plus good. Is about how you keep women engaged throughout those dial-back times. What, you can't even say it? Maternity leave. For fuck's sake, why is it such a dirty thing to be a parent nowadays? F because she doesn't mean maternity leave, bro. She doesn't mean that period of time during and shortly after you have a child. She doesn't even necessarily mean in the first year. She is very clearly talking about that period of time when you are a new parent, when you focus more on the rearing of the child than pursuing a career at the pace it, it needs to be when you have high level positions. She is speaking to this as a CEO, as a person who has experience in this, an experience that you do not share. Because like me, you are an internet loser. I wear corn, you have a rant sona. We're not that much different. This lady, even though she's probably a capitalist overlord who deserves to have her small business ransacked by Antifa super soldiers, she's also incredibly 
successful under capitalism, and as such has different experiences than you or I. Wow, I'm on no one's side here, except yours, chat. I love you, babies. Find ways for them to keep working in a smaller way, you know, for the company. Yes, because the goal of all life is to serve the company. Is that really the world we want? You are a capitalist! You voted for Trump! You are the type of person who says, I want America to be run like a business, so I voted for a businessman. Are you fucking kidding me? How can you not disassociate these fu- Ah, uh, wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna eat- I'm gonna eat more beans! I swear, I'm gonna eat more beans! I don't know about you, but work is something I do to pay the rent. It's not the meaning of life. While at the same time, being able to grow and keep in touch so that when they're ready to come back, they can. Right, so they should spend their maternity leave on keeping up with the company. Nothing makes a mother better than her constantly checking her work email. Everyone knows that. Literally a thing you advocate for openly when you openly advocate for hypercapitalism you dumb fuck. Holy shit. Can we put this entire three minutes? Can we tweet it to accidentally left? Like, holy shit. How do you not understand that that is what literally the capitalist system forces upon people if they want to be mega successful like that? If they even have the opportunity, if they have the privilege to be mega successful, that's what it is. Holy shit. That's what every kid really needs. Secondly, I think the parental leave has to be so imaginatively structured. Ah, parental leave, of course. How could I have forgotten that we can't have anything gendered? Silly me. I'm sorry, is he not for men's rights? Is he not for paternity leave? As a dirty, dirty lefty, I am for both maternity and paternity leave. In fact, I would go so far as just calling it parental leave as well so that you, you catch your envy pals. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. I'm pretty woke. You know it. Just your uh, average corn man walking in a field of woke. You're welcome. It's very impressive, I know. I'm pretty impressive. But seriously, we should have we should have parental leave for everybody involved. Um, you should be able to, if you want to, have like a year off for having your first kid. Frankly, more than that. But like under capitalism, at least a year. You know, like like France. Personally, I'm actually not of the belief that it's helpful to kind of disappear on... on uh... I guess fathers aren't parents. <laughs> well, only some of our fathers. My dad is dead. Things get better. Your life can be happy once your dead dad dies. Uh, maternity leave. Wait, now we're back to maternity leave? My penis is so confused. There's the house clip! Maternity leave for six to eight months and then come back absolutely rattled by the pace of work. Yeah, because being a new parent is just a walk in the park, right? I actually think it might be more useful to have segments and periods where you can take tranches of time throughout your career as an employee and as a parent. Why are you a spokesperson for this shit if you're this bad at speaking? Because people get very exhausted. You know? I don't think she's bad at speaking. I think he's pretty bad at speaking. Am I crazy? You know, it's, it's almost like it would be more valuable to work three weeks out of four during a period when your kids are young. Okay, I'm confused again. Is it work? Of course you're confused. Or parenthood that's exhausting? Both. Then it is to... Why can't both be exhausting? Take huge chunks of time and then have to come back you know, in one big uh, rush. What are you even talking about? So Wait, how do you not... What are you talking about? You you are interrupting this, and I still know what she's talking about. She is talking about balancing parenting and high-level capitalist workplace environments. She is talking about excelling as a female CEO. 
as a natal female. <laughs> she's talking about how that affects her ability to both be a parent and be a CEO. Come on. So there, I think that this, this uh, question of creating new patterns is very much an experimental one. I think this pitch is experimental. Are you high by any chance? We saw that the Gates Foundation recently said we're, we gave parents a year off when they had children. We find that's not viable. And I thought that was an honest, at least experimental way of looking at that problem. Yeah, honest. That's what I think of when I hear the name Bill Gates. So we tried that. that Wait, what? No one said the name Bill Gates, did they? Am I crazy? In one big thing, new patterns is Mental. the Gates Foundation. Oh, the Gates Foundation. Said, Problem. Okay. Yeah, honest. That's what I think of when I hear God. the name Bill Gates. So we tried that. That didn't work. Okay, so what does work? And I think companies have got to be, I think, very adventurous. Do you think Bill Gates had a hand in that study? What? Now. Yeah, because apparently you are incapable of telling us what you want. Is this what we're supposed to take as an example of great female leadership? Well, in that case, get the fuck back in the kitchen. Someone somewhere needs a fucking sandwich. Wow. Wow. Do you know ladies make sandwiches, chat? Natal, natal women make sandwiches better than boys. I think I think I think that's what the point is. Did you know that if you are uh if you got um a womb you make tasty sammies. Yep. That's the joke. Give me them womb sammies. Scoop some extra gametes on there. I like them juicy figuring out what really works best while at the same time getting the job done because you know this is not a a charity you're in you're actually in a business yes thanks for noticing and if you want to be at the top the absolute top of the business you cannot be this fucking whiny and you mormon jesus she hasn't whined thanks progressive voice appreciate it we're looking at undoomed who is dog shit yeah, he just, I feel like he feels the need to interrupt every once in a while, and he's like, yeah, you're stupid. You've got to get the business done. How are companies supposed to get business done when they have to deal with this kind of bullshit? Not only do they have to do what you want, but you can't tell them what you want, so they have to fucking develop telepathy to figure it out. What, what the fuck is the point of going on Big Think if you have no fucking solution? She literally gave a solution. Thanks for following, Crunkers. The solution to the problem was literally take time in little spurts. Like, what? Oh, God. So dumb. So dumb. How you use your orchestra has become far more creative. I mean, HR now has to be a really innovative activity. I was, why did I join the stream? I was so happy five minutes ago. She really wasn't. It hasn't been in the past. Shut up, I'm talking. All right, that's enough of that. What? Those were my thoughts on this subject. And if you don't agree with me, then write down your opinions in an email and send it to I don't give a crap at who cares you stupid dipshit asshole dot net. And with that, I'm out. That Thanks for watching and see you next time. There are no victims. Wait, why why is it he's got a whole minute of nothing? Wow. Wow. Baby bird. Imagine oh. being one of these names. Imagine being one of these people that go to Patreon.